Is Fergie going to the coronation of King Charles III, or will she once again be on the sidelines? Here's what we know. While it may seem odd that Sarah Fergie Ferguson, the Duchess of York, wouldn't be automatically invited to the upcoming coronation, the truth is that Fergie's relationship with the rest of the royal family is complicated. Because of Fergie's rocky history with the firm, the invitation question is still unsettled. So what happened in the past that left her on such shaky ground? The reason Fergie was not invited to celebrate Christmas at Sandringham for a whopping three decades is because of a scandal that, frankly, pales in comparison to what her ex-husband has been accused of, which we imagine is at least partially why her ban was lifted. After her split from Prince Andrew in 1992, Fergie was photographed at a pool with her then-boyfriend, who was kissing and sucking on her foot. My mistakes have been put on the public stage. As a result, the late Prince Philip banned her from the Christmas celebrations at Sandringham. When King Charles took the throne in late 2022, he reversed that decision and invited her back. In April 2015, Fergie's ex, Prince Andrew, was mentioned in court documents filed by a legal team representing Virginia Giuffre in a case against Jeffrey Epstein. Giuffre's team claimed that Andrew sexually abused her when she was only 17 years old. But you were staying at the house of yes. a convicted sex offender. It was a convenient place to stay. Andrew, with continued support from his ex-wife, has denied the allegations, and the lawsuit was settled out of court in 2022. Fast forward to March 2023, when, as of the making of this video, Fergie has not yet received an invitation to the big coronation. But she's not alone. The invitations haven't gone out yet, so I don't know if I'm going to be there because, you know, who wants me around? And while she still might receive one, others on the guest list have reportedly already been told to save the date in advance of receiving a formal invitation. For instance, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have been invited, according to the Sunday Times, though we do not yet know whether they plan to attend. Despite Charles inviting her back to Christmas festivities, Fergie's lifelong closeness to the late Princess Diana complicates things. In her 1996 autobiography, Fergie said of Diana, she was two years younger than I, and I strove to support and protect her as I would a younger sister, as I still do today, as a best friend. Diana and Fergie had been close friends since their teenage years, and were in fact fourth cousins. Their mothers had gone to school together, and so the two future princesses had a relationship with each other before either married into the royal family. Because of this lifelong closeness, the two became natural confidants when they also became sisters-in-law, and when they each struggled with the immense scrutiny the media put them under while they were married and later, after they were separated from their respective husbands, they had each other to lean on and write to and to confide in. While we can only speculate as to what Fergie truly thinks of Charles's marriage to Queen Consort Camilla, with whom he famously cheated on Diana, one could hardly blame her for having complicated feelings about the relationship as a whole and the coronation specifically.